The folks at Aston Martin have assembled a beast for the 2023 season, which has sent huge shockwaves through the entire grid. While it is true that Lawrence Stroll's ambitious project has not yet gotten the desired results on track, despite heavy investments in drivers and engineers, things are about to change. What has Aston Martin got under its sleeves that will take its drive up a notch, or even higher? Let's get right into it. Firstly, Aston Martin, a dark horse. The team have not been quiet about this newly created and designed EMR 23 car. The clamours about the team's progress are everywhere and everyone is more curious about this new car, dubbed a dark horse. The changes in the dark horse are initially distinguishable from the frontal part as its nose is clearly different from the car driven in the last season. There are also new additions to the sides and main area of the car, including a new bonnet design that will direct the flows in the central rear part of the car towards the wing. This car already looks like it will be killer on the tracks, with its enlarged roll cage, which is responsible for airflow into its engine. Even better, a cooling system added to the EMR23 is more centralised than the one in the former car design. Ballo commented on the car, we want to work our way up the grid and challenge the teams at the top. And you can't do that by sitting back and being conservative. He further said that the AMR23 is a significant evolution of the car that we refined in the second half of 2022. And we have improved it with every critical area. The designs and features of the Spec B in 2022 were confirmed to be inspired by Red Bull. Many other teams are now watching the Aston Martin team very closely, monitoring their progress every step of the way. One of these people is Christian Homer. If you remember previously when the Aston Martin team was racing point, Christian Homer was among the team principals who publicly voiced his concerns regarding the astonishing speed of the car. He went as far as calling it the pink Mercedes, referring to the car's speed and its unique similitude to the unbeatable and unstoppable Mercedes during that season. When asked if Aston Martin could present a surprise contender in the 2023 Formula 1 season, Horner responded that, you never know, I mean Alpine made progress in the second half of last year. Aston Martin, we keep hearing big numbers coming out there and their expectations. She just don't know in terms of what the running order will be. An F1 season in 2023 with six teams Aiming to win sounds like pure joy, but the competition will be very tight. Aston Martin does not seem to relent in their efforts with a new driver added to the team. A demanding Fernando Alonso Among the huge changes that Lawrence has for the Aston Martin team is the introduction two-time world champion Fernando Alonso. This guy might be 40 years old, but he definitely showed the young ones who is the boss on the track last season. While he was still negotiating with Alpine sometime last year, he shocked the new team by accepting Aston Martin's offer and becoming a team member. Alonso is popularly known for his notorious behaviour for being demanding and a difficult team member. So Aston Martin's ambassador, Pedro De La Rosa, laid down some ground rules for the hot-headed champion who will now have to bow down to a new boss. On the other hand, Pedro De La Rosa says that Alonso is not as difficult as he's projected to be and that instead it's a case of a loss in translation. Pedro states that the fact that English is not his native tongue sometimes makes him a bit harsh when he tries to describe things. But he is very honest, if you are as competitive as him, you would not have any problems with Fernando. De La Rosa claims that communication is important to Aston Martin and they are more than ready to handle Alonso. The benefits of signing a two-time world champion are Fernando's level of performance and his years of experience, and Aston Martin making that smart move to have Alonso to themselves has got the F1 teams shaking in their boots. Although Odmar Schaffneuer claims that Alonso jumping ship to Aston Martin was mainly motivated by money, I mean, who cares? Clearly not Aston Martin. With a big contract and a fat check, Fernando was tightened his helmet and begun to work extremely hard to achieve more success. His partner, Lance Stroll, will be under pressure but still motivated like never before. 
Lance Stroll, who is the son of Aston Martin's Lawrence Stroll, already got off the wrong foot with Alonso at the United States Grand Prix after the high-speed incident. The duo collided after a safety car restart when Alonso tried to pull a move on Stroll, and the Canadian attempted to block him off, thereby sending Alonso flying into the air. Stroll ended up getting penalties for his role in the crash. Meanwhile, Alonso claims to be happy being with Aston Martin. The champion has previously gotten a taste of what it feels like to be a member of the Aston Martin team back in Abu Dhabi, but Alonso had not fully shown his ability until January 1st this year. Since then, he's been getting involved in everything that has been done within the team, and they're on a journey to create, in the words of Lawrence Stroll, one of the greatest Formula 1 teams that will be. Alonso is ready to take the team stakes higher, claiming that the energy he gets from Stroll Sr. aligns with the fire within him. Since the first day at Aston Martin, I felt exactly the same values for the people around me, Alonso said. He also says he has noticed that the Aston Martin team now has the facilities and the talent to win the title. Even though he is not 20, he would still do his best to help the team win. Tom McCulloch also expressed his joy in seeing Alonso's eagerness and his motivation to compete. That's the kind of push we are getting from him, said Tom. He is massively motivated, pushing us all hard because he wants to do really well, just like we do. The Progression of Aston Martin The owner of Aston Martin F1 team, Lawrence Stroll, has extremely high ambitions for his team and the world could see it clearly during the period when Sebastian Vettel was signed. But he knows that assembling the best engineers and good drivers is not enough if the team does not have the proper working tools. So, the billionaire endorsed the construction of a new factory and similar configurations, including a wind tunnel. This might allow the team to make a huge leap to become better. Although their previous performances do not suggest it, Lawrence has put a lot of effort and also money into the team as he aims to win the championship title very soon. In 2022, the introduced regulatory change might have done it for the team, but the Austin Martin engineers led by Andrew Green failed to correct the issue of poor poising and greatly narrowed the capability of the new AMR22, shutting the door to achieving that title for the Aston Martin team. This greatly affected the team last year and bought the introduction of Spec B in Barcelona. Aston Martin's technical team has always been able to produce cars of very high standard, considering their limited budget. As a result, they could not acquire the necessary resources and infrastructures needed to create the road machine. But it now seems like they have gotten back on track as this structure is now under construction. In addition, the team brought in Dan Fallows from Red Bull as a new technical director and immediately signed up Luca Frubato, an Italian engineer from Alfa Romeo, as Dan's assistant. With these two, including Tom McCulloch, the Aston Martin team was in for a ride. However, Andrew Green was moved outside F1 to handle other projects as chief technical officer of Aston Martin. This group of highly talented people guided the team to 6th place finish. The team might have lost Sebastian Vettel, but it surely did not deter them from the championship dream, as they went all out to offer a two-year contract to Fernando Alonso. The team got very driven and wanted someone to keep them on their toes. As if it was not enough to bring in a highly competitive and strong-headed driver, Aston Martin also began developing a new car called the AMR23. According to the technical director, Dan Fallows, the new car is 95% different from its predecessor, the AMR22. This car is already being tagged as the dark horse for the 2023 season and has excited the team. Would the announcement of this new car creation, will this be the beginning of a new dawn for Aston Martin? We cannot wait to see the outcome of Aston Martin's changes and progressions. Do you think it will help the team win the title? If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the image on your screen. You won't regret it.